Hi, this is Kevin Zahner. In this short video, I want to share with you how I've been using DocCub to edit interactive PDFs in Google Drive. As you may know, Google Drive takes away the interactivity of the PDFs or the interactive fields. DocCub restores them. So DocCub is an app that you install in your Chrome browser. And once you're signed into your Google account and you have DocCub installed, all you have to do is type in DocCub.com and it'll automatically open your account. You can save that as a bookmark and you'll be uh, one click away. So in this PDF, the fields were over here, um, the areas that I have in blue. So they automatically are recognized. And all I had to do to type in these examples for this history curriculum um, was just start typing. Now I wanted them to stand out, so I made them blue. I also wanted to add some questions. Now I made this question red and italicized and a little bit larger because I, like I said I wanted it to stand out but I had to use a text box because the uh, interactive field would only allow one style for that entire field so I just added a separate text box and I had to actually add it over um, to the left here um, because if you did it over the interactive field it just wouldn't let you um, maybe at some update it will, but on this one it won't, no big deal. I just add it over here and then moved it into place, no problem. Um, it, it actually types out um, in one long line of text just over in this box. Click, hold, and drag it to the right size, any size you want, and it'll automatically text wrap. Okay, so this was really uh, an, an, an important tool for me because I have a lot of PDFs from that I've been using over the years that I don't want to throw away just because my school has gone one-to-one -one Chromebooks, um, that all my students are using you know, Google Drive and I'm communicating through Google Classroom and pushing things to them with different apps. Um, I don't want to throw away the you know, all the years of, of collecting good materials that work great just because we're going to a more paper, paperless means and, you know, collaborative ways to work together. So um, I haven't added questions in every area, but that's fine. I might actually share this with my students and I'll allow them to add questions. I might uh, model for them the kinds of questions that they should be adding. Uh, to really start to unpack the concepts in this area and, and connect them with the examples that we're choosing to study, uh, to write responses to potential essay questions for the AP exam, or really, most importantly, um, just great historical analysis. So uh, the value of this particular tool is that we do get to use a lot of our PDFs that we we've been using for many years and we don't have to kind of reinvent the wheel um, and throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. Uh, we can just use what we've been using. So um, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.